Uh, okay. All right. What is the guys? What is the guys back with a brand new video? And yeah, uh, off to another story. So this is basically the story of uh, how I got into Call of Duty and how I got into playing Emery games. And let me just put the volume up a bit more. So when I was younger, uh, I when I was like six or seven, I would always play Halo. I was a huge Halo kid. Halo was a game that I would play, you know, a lot. Uh, I, because of, also because my friends played it. But then, like, by the time, like, of World at War came out, all my friends went over to um, Call of Duty. And uh, that's basically how I got to Call of Duty. Like, my friends played it, so I'm like, oh, fuck. And they just stopped playing Halo completely. And I, I didn't want to be, like, the weird kid out, like, just play by himself on Halo because... Halo is just a bunch of fucking nerds who just fucking try way too fucking hard. But I mean, like, I was really good at Halo. Honestly, Halo is probably the only game I'm actually good at. And I stopped playing it. And you're just complete trash, like. And I'm worse! I got what I'm saying. So, my friend went to Call of Duty. I'm like, alright, fuck it. I'll try playing Call of Duty, even though I don't know what it is. And I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not. But fuck it, why not? All my friends are playing it. Same thing like how I played Destiny. All my friends play Destiny. So I played Destiny. So if it wasn't for my friends, I don't know. You know, I play one of my friends play because, you know, they're my squad. I got to make a video with my squad. But back then, the group of friends I had was just a little bit different. Dead. I'm like, for every new generation of consoles, I move on to a new squad. Uh, but the squad that I have right now that I make videos with, I'm never going to leave them because, you know, they're, they're my homies, man. Like, like I met them in the summer, and they actually made my summer fun. So like, I, I can't leave them, man. They're my homies. The the, the, the squad is here. And I'm I am concentrating so hard in this game. Fuck me in the ass. Bloodthirsty, at least. All right. So my so I went to go get Call of Duty. But here's the thing. Here's a little thing about my story about Call of Fucking Duty. I bought the map. I was never allowed to play M ready games. Uh, my mom didn't really allow me to play M ready games. I don't know why. So this day, I because she, she thought I was gonna like if I played Call of Duty, I would go to school one day with a gun, even though we didn't even own a gun, and just shoot at the school. Even though I wouldn't shoot at the school. I mean, I probably would. I want to shoot at the school, and I want to go to like people who bully me, and just go to the house and just fucking stab them to the fucking throat. But I wouldn't just, you know, I wouldn't kill innocent people for the, you know, for something they didn't do. I'll just kill those who cause me pain. And I would, like, here's the thing about me, like, when I was younger, I wanted to be a marine. That's kind of why I want to play Call of Duty. I'm like, maybe they'll teach me about marine shit. Uh, and the thing about me is, I don't like, I could. Some people can't do something. They can't just kill or take another life. Me, I'll fucking kill somebody with no fucking regret. I, I don't know. I just don't, like, I don't see you as a person. I see you as somebody, as a thing, not as a human being. Now, my friends, like, if I had to kill one of my friends, that's kind of hard. I don't know if I would have the will even to kill my, my best friend. But, like, it's going off top. But as I was saying, so, um, I wasn't allowed to play, you know, Emery games. But then, you know, my dad, he didn't really care about what I played. Uh, you know, um, back then when I knew him, now I don't know what the fuck he does. Because he's just, he's not even here anymore. He just abandoned me for some weird reason. Um, so, my dad didn't care. Back then when he used to live with us. He didn't really care about what games to play, so I was a really smart kid back then. I was extremely smart. It's kind of weird that a lot of smart kids that, or a lot of people who are meant for greatness, they have hard lives, and you know, I, I get it, you know? I don't know why. It happens. I don't know why it happens, but it does. So, um, I was a really smart kid, so what I would do is, like, I would just buy, like, a, uh, a sport game, like, the, like, PGA Golf, or uh, 2K something, or, or NFL, whatever year that I, the game came out of, and I would just get the Call of Duty before I got home, put the disc in the, you know, the sport, you know, um, case, and my mom was thinking I'm playing, you know, maybe 2K15, I mean, 2K8, or whatever the fucking year, or whatever, like, or NFL fucking 12, or whatever fucking time I was playing that game, uh, that's what my mom would be thinking. And, um, 
basically it's basically how it all went down so uh, and it worked I don't know if my mom ever noticed it I don't know if she really did but it I just what it did like my entire life and then when I got my Xbox one uh, I got Call of Duty Ghosts I believe I think when Ghost came out, I said I wasn't allowed to play any games, and I was like 12 or 13 back then. No, Ghost I was allowed. My mom bought me Ghost, and I might as well for I bought it, because it was like, yeah, I don't know why I bought it. So, once I got the Xbox One, my parents started to be a little bit more like, you know, alright, you're older, I, you know, uh, here's the thing, when I had those m -ready games, like I would buy like a bunch of m -ready games, I wouldn't play until my parents were out, out of the house, because... I'm home alone a lot of the time. Even to this day, I'm, I'm kind of home alone. Um, how am I not somebody does drugs? I'm smart and I'm not to do stupid shit like that, you know? I'm not like most kids! Fucking! Oh, thank God I still have my shit, alright. Requesting lightning strike support. Yay! So, like, um,. Yeah, when they weren't home, I would play. And then there was just one time when I almost got caught playing Call of Duty because my mom went to go, oh, she went to go work, and um, you know she, I, right, I'm gonna play Call of Duty, have a whole day to myself. And 20 minutes later, she comes back and she forgot something, and I'm in the end there in my living room playing Call of Duty. I'm like, fuck. So. When I hear the door, like, look, see the thing, I would always lock my door, like, both locks. That way, it give me at least two to five seconds of, of time to either A, switch it, B, turn off, or put on different, you know, game. So, yeah, so basically, I had enough time. And, yeah, we wrecked, we wrecked that team. We wrecked that team, boy. So, I would have enough time to switch it, all that shit. So, I switched it, like, either to the sport game or just watch fucking TV. And, um... Yeah, specifically how I would just spend my time, and honestly, it was actually pretty fun. And I'm glad that now I'm able to like, like, I bought these, like, alright, so I'm gonna be making a squad video later on Battlefront. I will end you. Wrong side! I don't know, I really do love Battlefront. It's a really fun game. So, uh, yeah, it's basically, uh, Call of Duty, is, that's, how I, that's how I got into Call of Duty, that's how I started playing Call of Duty. And, um, yeah. Honestly, it's, it's just it's something that I love playing. There you go, guys. That's a little, that's a little story. So let me tell you the story of how I got how I was got cast. I was um I already told you guys that, right, but um yeah. And the thing about Call of Duty, something like very you know close to me, like I you know Call of Duty is something that's just something that I I grew up with. You know, it's helped me through my childhood. Like the amount of friends that I've met through Xbox is incredible. Because I play Call of Duty, because you know my squad, like they are literally like my ride or die homies, man. Like I love them all. You know they make me laugh, they make my weekends fun, they make my vacations fun. I get to play with them every single day. Yeah, they could be asses sometimes, but I mean like we all are to each other. And honestly, like you know, to, to all my squad, you know who you are. Thank you for you know just being there for me, making me you know you guys made my channel what it is today, and hopefully you guys will be there when my channel gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and hopefully things work out for me and for all of you guys. But honestly, I find it you know pretty cool. Like Call of Duty is like, here's the thing, I'm a huge nerd. So like if let's just say like one day I had a girlfriend, which I probably will never have. Speaking of that, uh, most of my friends have girlfriends or are with a girl that they like now i am with a girl that i like but we're not dating yet and um i don't know here's the thing uh, i have a very type of girl like I, every guy has their type of girl my type of like i like short girls that are like five feet like nerdy long hair and a big ass like i like i don't like i'm not saying that i hate boobs i just i just love the booty the butt is amazing. And that may sound weird or perverted. Don't mean like that. I know that some... Uh, so, <laughs> here's what I did. Yesterday, I was talking to... Uh, I I was thinking my videos are mostly meant for guys. Right? So, I wanted to do a little test of what girls thought about my videos. So, I sent my links in my, in like my newest videos and some of my old videos to like the girls that I knew. Uh, like friends, whatever, or like, you know, cousins and shit like that. See what they thought of my videos, and 
over 50% of them actually like my videos. They just had one problem that I kind of curse too much and that I, I'm a little bit more uh, too explicit. Which I get it, you know. I say butthole and dick and sh 